Chapter 7, Lesson 4, Scale Drawings. So this chapter, again, is focusing on how does geometry help us describe real-world objects. More specifically, this um, actual lesson is going to focus on scale drawings, or scale model, and how do we find scale factor. So when we're talking about these, we've got four major vocabulary words. We've got scale drawing, scale model, scale, and scale factor. Okay. So when I look at these, scale and scale factor are probably um, considered my most confusing in terms of what is the difference between the two. A scale drawing and a scale model. A scale drawing is um, a 2D object, whereas a model is going to be three-dimensional. Okay, and what it means is that everything is in proportion. Okay, so when I'm talking about scale, I'm going to talk about it being um, a proportion. Okay, so I'm going to be comparing two things. So we learned about proportions way back in like chapter one. So oftentimes we're going to talk about maybe three inches equals um, one foot. So in a scale drawing or a scale model, I'm going to see that whatever it is for every three inches, that's really a foot in real life. We see this often in maps and social studies when we're showing land elevations, distances, things like that. We obviously can't have maps as large as the distance, so what we do is we scale it down. Now the scale factor... is that proportion without units and it's written as a ratio. So normally I would say three inches is the same as one foot, mm -hmm. but now I've got to change this to make sure that I have the same units. And so here I'm going to obviously change inches to feet or um, feet to inches. So I could say that's the same as three inches over 12 inches. And then that's in simplest form, okay? So then if I kind of continue that on down over here, if I divided top and bottom by 3, I'd end up with 1 fourth. So my scale factor is 1 fourth, which means that that object that I'm seeing drawn or that 3D um, image is also going to be 1 fourth the size of the original. Now the scale factor is a huge piece that we're going to be talking about because when you do your final project for this chapter you're going to be scaling up or scaling down and you've got to identify that scale factor. So what is the actual distance between Hagerstown and Annapolis? So in this one we actually doing that real world application like we talked about. So I can see right now that my scale is down below and it says one centimeter is 24 miles and I'm going to write that as a fraction because I'm going to do some equivalent pieces now normally we get a ruler out and we measure it however because I enlarged this to go in this presentation they're saying a centimeter is about this size and that's why they include that down here so if I were to draw that and include that, I've got like one, two, three, four. So it really is about four centimeters. If that's four centimeters, then how many miles is it? So I like to do it this way because then I can create my equivalent fractions and I can say one to four, what did I do? I multiplied by four, so whatever I do on the bottom, I or on the top, I have to do on the bottom. So I'm going to multiply that by four. Off to the side, 24 times four. That's 16, nine. So I would say about 96 miles. All right, I want you to take and try this one on your own. It says a graphic artist is creating an advertisement for this cell phone. If she uses a scale of 5 inches equals 1 inch, what is the length of the cell phone on the advertisement? So I want you to pause this and try it. So we're looking at um, using our scale that's given, and then this is the phone that I'm measuring, and so 
it measured it for me. So I want to know on the advertisement how large is that phone going to be. So again, pause that podcast and try it on your own. All right, so I'm going to set it up and I'm going to start with what my scale says. So I know 5 inches is the same as 1 inch. Remember that this is going to be my advertisement and this is my actual. So we always put kind of our, um, the top tells us what it is and then goes from there. Okay, so in this case, 5 inches equals an inch. So 5 inches to 1 inch. Well, I know that here it says the actual is 4 inches. So now what did I do to 1 to get to 4? I multiplied by 4. So what am I going to do on the top? Multiply by 4 again. And I get 20. So what is the length of the cell phone on the advertisement? It would be 20 inches. All right, this next one says find the scale factor of a model sailboat if the scale is one inch equals six feet. So remember, one inch equals six feet. That right now is my scale. To change it into a scale factor, I need to have a ratio in which I can get rid of units. To get rid of units, I need to have them be the exact same unit. So I want you to pause the podcast and try this one on your own. All right, so if I know this, I know one inch to feet. Well, obviously, I'm not going to change my inches. So how many feet are there? Well, if I change that to inches, I know that six feet is really six times 12 because there's 12 inches in a foot, and I end up with 72. So this is true. One inch equals one inch. Six feet is the same as 72 inches. So because I have the same unit, I can get rid of it. So what is my scale factor? 172nd. Meaning when I have a scale of 1 inch is really 6 feet. So if I did a scale of a model of a drawing of a bedroom or something like that, and my scale was 1 inch equals 6 feet, my scale factor is 1 72nd, meaning my model or my drawing is 1 72nd of the entire um, actual building or whatever it is you're measuring. All right, last problem on this podcast. A floor pan plan for a home is shown at the left, where one half an inch represents three feet in the actual home. What is the actual area of bedroom one? So I want you to pause the podcast and then try this on your own. All right, if I look at this, couple things that I want to look at as I go through. So it says a floor plan um, for the home is shown where half an inch represents three feet of the actual home. And I want to know the area of bedroom one. So if I look, I need to find my bedroom one. So here is my bedroom one, and I'm going to highlight it in yellow so we can clearly see where it is. So on the drawing, it shows that my bedroom is one. Oops, let's try switching back to a pen. Um, my bedroom is actually going to be um, one inch by, it looks like, four inches, okay? And it wants to know what is the actual area. So I'm going to start by finding out what are the actual um, dimensions. So remember, half an inch equals three feet. So if I create an equivalent fraction, one inch equals how many feet? Well, one half times what gives me one? Well, that's times two. So on the bottom, I have to multiply by 2 as well. So it would be 6 feet. So I know that it is kind of a narrow bedroom. It's going to be 6 feet wide by, so I've got to do that same thing again. Um, and I don't have a lot of room on this page. If I take 1 half an inch, 3 feet, same. so same comparison. And then here, I've got 
4 inches. So what did I multiply 1 half by to get 4? I multiplied it by 8, so what do I do to the bottom? Multiply it by 8, and that's 24. So now I know that my bedroom is actually 6 feet by 24 feet. So then to find area of a rectangle, of course I'm going to multiply length times width. So I'm going to do 24 times 6. 6 times 4 is 24. 6 times 2 is 12, plus 2 more is 14. So my answer is 144 feet squared because that's my unit. Make sure if you have any questions, you're um, jotting them down so we can go over them together in class.